yeah so that's uh synthetic EDG. um what we would like to do is have a c um uh, uh, feature extra uh, extraction uh, from it so essentially something that labels the p q r s p q r s t waves that puts them in uh, sub labels them in separate colors that would be nice so we have those as outputs and we'll have a ECG chart as per usual different uh, ways in uh, different colors we use American American English all of that you <laughs> rubbish uh p wave qrs t wave ecg and we also have our uh, measurements for heart rate min pr interval time interval min q iso level mean so we could use a neuro kit which actually allows simulating ECG waveforms uh, flask so it's available for you to play with and numpy this relevant paper Should we have a scroll do we need a scroll option just get away with window size so this will be another input Outputs, uh, Python packages, parameter calculations. What else do we have? Feature extraction. Well, clean ECG signal. Maybe I have any more requirements. Well, not really. Yet the description is okay. -ish. We have the file structure, so essentially it will be something similar to this. But yes, we'll have each uh, wave uh, labeled with a different color. Make sure that the tool complies with the relevant medical and ethical guidelines and regulations. Well, this is um, synthetic. Uh, there's a good reason why this is synthetic uh, ECG. Yeah, we should have a uh, new kit, NumPy, Flask, Pandas, Matplotlib. We should have all of that already. This is mainly for reference. We'll deal with the Flask uh, settings uh, once we have something working. Yeah, new kit. Multiple sample application structure. Yes. So the app, uh, it's the main Flask code. We have JavaScript, CSS, and the main app application. We can start off this uh, app application in Python code. It essentially will be a more advanced uh, version of this so this one uh, it's this tool here so just uh, generating synthetic uh, signal it's not uh, doing any labeling we want to do labeling it's doing everything in the same uh, in the same function so using the same libraries we have uh, generate ECG as we had before we have the actual ECG generation over here I'm turning into all this into JSON file I don't think this will work okay the JavaScript should have update plot there already edit all this stuff and constant 
data just copy the whole constant data a new plot a cg plot data layout this remains the same getting 500 error uh, y failing to load resources failing to load so let's see having trouble with probably the html in that template might as well pop the styling uh, let's pop this in i expect some variables to have different names yeah that's fine that's not what we are worrying about uh, yet data length is too small right i've seen this error before can you solve this one for us please generating two responses it's pretty much the same don't see much difference suggesting logging stuff don't like when it says final thoughts as if it's finished working pretty sure I have all the packages installed I think it is the, syn the syntax error sprint data Data length is too small. 25 seconds seem to do the processing. Still get the uh, 500 for the generated ECG. That's not cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't actually have the ECG P wave. At least not yet. Not sure why it's even trying to plot it. Not sure if NeuroKit can label individual waveforms. I don't think so. Does it even have an option to extract P wave? Pretty sure it doesn't. This is general approach for using NeuroKit. It's a nice code. Does it actually work? It's just testing this poses some problems with the pandas library so i'm pretty sure a neural kit doesn't have an option to extract features so i have to do it in a different way and right so this is more manual yeah neural kit wouldn't have a automated the uh, any functions extracting individual waveforms so i have to do it manually we have a ecg signal generator what do we want we want to label a uh, different parts of the signal so it's ignored everything i said in the beginning this is actually not a flask application it's just a uh, uh, still testing mode see if this works it's surprising it does okay how did you do it <laughs> and that was quick yeah okay there's a problem just extracting the qrs's Anyway, ideally we want something similar to this uh, video that we had. Yeah, we want the P, Q, R, S, T in uh, separate colors. And uh, this is something else. It's only, in this example, only Q, R, S, peak is being labeled in different colors instead can we use four colors and label p wave separately q notch separately r peak in a different color r in a different color and s peak wave in a different color 
I this is more like it. It's the labeling off. The labeling is a bit off. This last labeling is a bit messy. Can we assume that? So we're finding our peaks. Can we then just assume that the peak beforehand is Q and the peak after that is S and adjacent to the R peak you have Q and S. Yeah, the previous one was better, wasn't it? The previous code was producing better results. Uh, can we keep the R peak label as a dot? Once we have that, can we assume that the negative peaks on the left and right are Q and S? Can we also assume that before Q we have a positive T wave? Can we assume that after T negative peak we have a positive T wave? T wave and T wave are mislabeled. There should be local maximas before Q and after S. Not messing it up. Uh, why? This number is potentially too small. 